Trisha and her husband Brent were married for less than a year and already on the verge of divorce when they first appeared on my show. She admitted to inviting an ex over for cuddles, but not for sex. And then Brent's testicle grew to the size of a grapefruit, causing his family to think that Trisha gave it him an STD. But even though the swelling went down, the drama has turned up. And they're back. But before we get to why, take a look at a clip from the last time they were here. My family hates her because they say that she gave me an STD. One time after we had sex, I felt like I had poop cramps. And I was walking home and I doubled over. I had to go to the hospital and they wound up telling me that my balls was the size of a grapefruit. Um, it was swollen really bad and I couldn't hardly walk and it hurt. While I was in jail, she texted this one guy asking him to come over and cuddle. I found all this on her phone. I seen it with my own eyes, so she cannot deny it. So while he's in jail, you call up a guy and say, let's cuddle. But it wasn't sexual. It was more uh, like emotional support. What's this about you giving him an STD? That was his family, and they have His family gave him an STD? No. <laughs> Okay, he went to the hospital because his balls were swollen, and what How it was... How big did his balls get? Like, about like... Are you serious? I don't know exactly. I never... But you saw them. Not really. When they were swollen, I didn't want to look. And that's what... an STD. No, it wasn't. It was... It's called reverse ejaculation. I guess that's what they called it at... I've never heard that. That's what the doctor said. It, he said... Reverse ejaculation. He said it, instead of it all coming out, some of it went back down in and it got his balls infected. I've never had an STD in my life. Yeah. Did you make an online uh, dating profile? No, I didn't. But there's one of you, yes. right? Yes. And who did that? Honestly, I think his family did to frame me. Do you think he cheated? If he cheated on me and has been accusing me for months on end, right. no, I don't right. deserve that. I deserve better. You'll move on. Yes. You know you cheated you on me. You know damn well I didn't cheat on you, yes, Brent. Yes, you did, Trisha. No, I read you all the messages. No. You need to stop right now. I read from the that beginning messages everything were that You know I did not write those messages, Brent. And yes, you did. It come stop. from your Facebook. No, it didn't. Now, do you believe that she gave you an STD? No. No. You just got big Yeah, balls. I went to the hospital. Um, my balls was really big. How big did they get? Oh, about the size of a grapefruit. They're pretty big. Both of them or just one? No, just one. one. My right just, one, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was so painful. Oh. I was walking like a penguin for a long time. Like, oh. <laughs> OK. We asked you, since July 1st of 2018, have you had sexual physical contact with any other females besides Trisha? You answered no. Since July 1st of 2018, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females besides Trisha? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came that, that back that Brent told the truth. Told the truth. I told you. What do you like to do for fun, Brent? Um, draw, play video games. When you go home, will you sketch out a picture of me and send it to me? I could do that. Trisha. Did you create that online dating account in question? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Since July 1st of 2018, have you had sexual physical contact with any other males besides Brent? You answered no. Since July 1st of 2018, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males besides Brent? She answered no. The result came back the same to those two questions, and it came back that Trisha told the truth. I told you! Now you can take them the results and shove them in your family face. Earlier in the show, I asked Brent to sketch a picture of me and send it in. Well, he did. And we're all gonna see it for the first time together. Let's see the sketch. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Uh, uh, well, that's, that's pretty good, Brent. I mean, it looks uh, identical. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Contact the show now at 1-888-STEVE-07. Welcome back. And since you guys been on the show, how, how have things been for you? They've been pretty good. We have been working on our relationship, and it has gotten a lot stronger. And that's thanks to you, Steve. Patricia, you failed for creating an online dating profile uh, during your marriage. Now, you, you failed on the show, and you, you stuck to the lie so good. Will you now admit that you did create that online dating profile? No, I Blasphemy. still maintain you know you that I did not create that dating account. And <laughs> for him to sit there and still steadily accuse me is ridiculous. Well, if you're, gonna, if you're going to commit to a lie, I mean, you, you're going all the way with it, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, she failed for this, uh, for this creating an online profile. Did it, did it have an effect on you? Did you think, uh, maybe I don't want to be with her? No, um, that, that wasn't really a huge concern. Um, the main thing was the cheating that I was really worried about, and you brought a lot of clarity to that. And I'm really thankful for you. Okay. Uh, Trisha, I understand that you threw Brent out recently. Yeah. Let me tell you, Steve, okay? I've been having these little suspicions, and <laughs> I got, went on his phone, and I found a bunch of nude pics that he's been sending to other women. Were they complete nudity, like full frontal shot, or what? No, uh, just the downstairs area. The downstairs area. So as we like to say, Wait. the pick. Yeah, the money shot. The money shot. Ain't worth no money here. Are you happily married, Brent? Yeah, I love my wife. You love her. Do you yes, have date? Do you have dating apps on your phone? Yeah, including uh, Tinder. Tinder. No, I only got a couple of them. Yeah. There's only a couple of them. You, you quit lying, because you yeah. have like ten of them on your phone. But, Don't even try well, that. Brent, why, why would you, couple. Brent? Why would you have a dating app on your phone if you're happily married? Um. Well, I felt kind of. Um, I was under the influence, and I was a little. Uh, thought maybe she didn't want to be with me anymore, so well, why I was trying would you to like that? test the waters and see if maybe somebody would still be attracted to and, me. And was anybody attracted to you? No. No. <laughs> Just her. No. So maybe you two are right for each other. I love my husband very much. No. Yeah. yeah, I did I did some messed up stuff, but she did too, so we're getting over it. There you go. Not as bad as you did. Well, yeah, you did. And what about the <laughs> stripper? The stripper? She wasn't. She is just small. Dude, she's shorter than me. She's just little. I, and I'm five foot tall, and she's like four foot six. That is classified as a. No, that's she's just not. Lame. That is not. Yes, that is. No, it's not. Did you have sex with what the short person, Brent? No. He didn't have her. sex with her. He just sent pics to her. She's the only short one. Would you say that coming on the show helped you guys? Yeah, it's helped out tremendously. Well, we Trisha, you how to... well, Trisha, you found out that you can't beat a lie detector test, right? Yeah, but no, I did not <laughs> create a dating app. Oh, she did do it. You, you so did. Uh, so, uh, Brent, did you feel like coming on the show helped you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, brought me a lot of clarity. Um, I no longer accuse her of cheating anymore. Um, I trust her a lot better. Uh, and that's all thanks to you. You drew that picture of me, right? Yes, sir. How long did that take you? About a day and a half. A day and a half. It is displayed in my green room ever since you drew this of me. Now, I got to say, I either look like a caveman or I look like Homer Simpson. I'm not, maybe it's a combination. <laughs> I thought the same thing. You thought the oh, same man. thing? Is that how you look at me, Brent? No, no. <laughs> no, I don't see you like Homer. 
But I, I do love it, and as long as I have a show, it will be displayed in my green room. You have something for me? Or you want to show yes, me? Sir. Let's see it. Sure. All right. I know you like baseball. I do. So oh. I created this for you. It's your name. It's baseballs. Oh. Oh, it's made out of baseballs. Yeah. And you're, are you going to send that to me? I can, yes, sir. And then I made this one for you as well. Oh! It's, you you in the military, you holding the baseball, your logo, and just a selfie shot. Uh, uh, Homer Simpson joins the Marines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go, Coover says, hey. Oh, I mean, Gomer. Um, okay. Hey, Steve. Yes. My son drew you a picture as well. It's of you and Rochelle on the beach. Oh, that's awesome. You must go have him. <laughs> oh, man. That, and you're going to send me all this, right? Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to display all those pictures. Tell, uh, tell your son I said thank you, will you? I really am so glad to catch up with you guys. I'm glad that you guys are working to build your relationship. And I want, I want to hear from you every year on your anniversary that I know you're still together. Okay, okay, we can do that. And, and I also want a picture every year, Brent. All right. <laughs> keep them coming. Okay. All right, take care, guys. Thanks a lot for coming back on. Bye, Steve. Oh, oh can I say something real sure. quick? Sure. Um, <laughs> if anybody needs any help get to the bottom of maybe a lie or any other situation like that, call Steve. He's the man. He gets it done. And you will find out what's up. And we love and miss you, Steve. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And, and Brent, also, you should tell people out there if their private parts swell to some grapefruit size of proportions, they should call me also. Oh, yeah. That's a juicy topic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brent. Take care, buddy.